En dan schrijf ik weer die hele zorg, source IP en kring. SEPA configuration involves uh, ZPA configuration and a uh, couple of pieces on the uh, ZIA side. Once all this configuration is in place, uh, the user connects to the uh, ZIA, the flow is forwarded to ZPA, and finally, the user accesses the application, which is anchored to the app connector uh, of ZPA. So let's jump on to the admin portal. So first check the uh, ZPA configuration. We have uh, a SIPA app connector. As you can see that this app connector is uh, part of the app connector group. We have uh, application segment. This is my SIPA application segment, which is part of the uh, ZIA SIPA segment group and the server group. We have uh, SEPA enable. And then there is an access policy for uh, SEPA access. The rule is set to allow access for uh, the segment group and the server group. And uh, finally, the client forwarding policy for uh, SEPA which has the segment group and the client type is set to ZIA service edge. So this is all that you need to configure on um, ZPA. On the ZIA side, you have uh, the ZPA gateway, which is tied to the server group and the app segment from uh, ZPA and uh, the forwarding rule. So that's the two piece of information that you need on uh, ZIA. So as you can see that the rule is enabled. It has the forwarding gateway set to uh, the SIPA forwarding gateway. And uh, the destination is the app segment that uh, has that application that the user wants to access. This is my ZP app connector. It is running in uh, SkyTap and uh, here is the IP of uh, my app connector. So if I try to access IP chicken, you can see that it is anchored to this IP 2189.2600, which is uh, the IP of the app connector. So let's go on to the ZIA portal and uh, check the logs. So logs for last uh, two hours and filter for uh, each chicken I have uh, contained and then let me add um, another filter for uh, the folding rule for the SIPA folding rule so you can see that uh, my uh, Quest for the IP chicken. The forwarding rule is uh, SIPA forwarding rule and forwarding method is ZPA. Let's quickly cut into the uh, ZPA and you can see that uh, ZPA is also showing uh, the logs with the uh, access policy. The username is IP anchoring and it has the right app connector and uh, you can see that uh, the flow is forwarded to ZPA, we already saw that it is anchored to the uh, app connector IP. So that's all you need to uh, know to configure uh, the SIPA for ZIA and ZPA. And um, on G Drive, I also have uh, uh, a knowledge base IT article written, which has all the screenshots uh, with all the verification. So I hope you find this information useful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach me. Thanks and have a great day.